What's up creators, it's Curtis. And in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to automate your Amazon merch uploads using my designs and Merch Titans automation. There's really not an easier way to automate the uploading and even generating the listing data for your Amazon merch designs and do it in bulk. So that being said, we're gonna need two tools today. There's mydesigns.io and of course, Merch Titans and the integration between those two is a very seamless and intuitive uh, streamlined workflow. So let's jump right into that. So I'm over here on the demo account in my designs. You see I'm logged in I'm on the dashboards page. First things first, we need to have a collection set up to upload our designs to. So on the listings page, at the top here, I'm under home, Merch Titans Automation. I'm gonna create a new folder. I'll call this demo um, video, because that's what this is for. Now this is really important. You wanna choose the Amazon Merch template, which is saved. Everybody has access to it, so go to save templates. Select an option, scroll down until you see Merch by Amazon. Select that and then add folder. And now you have the folder here, you'll just click it. And then down here you'll click uh, open folder. So now we have this folder that we're in inside my designs in the cloud. Obviously it's empty, there's nothing uploaded. So the next step is to upload our designs. I have some camping designs over here. As you can see, I use these a lot in demos. So I'm gonna go upload upload files, and now you can drag and drop those designs or just uh, click that to grab them, but I'm gonna grab all these and just drag them here. And you can get a preview of them, but then just click upload all and confirm. And now it's gonna create these listings inside my designs. Once that's done, I'll show you some really, really powerful features we have. All right, so these are essentially done. Now you can see that I got all 20 of these designs uploaded to my designs inside the specific folder in a cloud so we're ready to go to the next step. So I'm gonna to scroll to the top. First and foremost, because we selected that Amazon Merch template, you can see we got title, it has the exact character uh, limits, brand, feature bullet one, feature bullet two, and description. So we're ready to go, right? So now we need data. Um, I'm gonna select all by going top left, clicking this drop down, clicking select all. Now you can see I have all 20 of these listings selected. The next step is to generate listing data. You can always use bulk edit and do that in bulk. And there's a lot of other variables and things you can play with, but we're trying to keep this video simple. So I'm gonna use Vision AI, this is incredibly powerful. What it'll do is scan each of these designs individually and write optimized listing for Amazon Merch. That includes titles, descriptions, feature bullet one and two, and your brand. So under select platform, I'm gonna choose Amazon Merch. And the image slot, you're gonna choose front because that's where we upload the design to. That's the design we want our AI to scan. Just leave T-shirt by default in this case. I recommend the MD 1.5 model, but down here, I'm not gonna generate a description and I'm not gonna generate a brand. I'm gonna do that on my own after, but I do wanna generate the title and bullet one and bullet two. Now you can also filter words that Amazon Merch doesn't like, like gift, birthday, wood, metal, etc. So you can just click that filter box and it automatically they're all selected. But if you want, you can deselect some of these and you can even do custom instructions. So this basically can guide our AI a certain way. So if you're doing a batch of a particular type of niche, the, the AI should already understand it really well just based off the design. But if you wanna give it further instructions, you can write those in here. But I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna uncheck that and we'll just click generate listing data. And yes, run Vision AI. You can see it's processing all 20 of these jobs for all of these listings and it does it really quickly. And just like that, we are done. So we got our title. You see, always take the scenic route. It's got the title there. If we read the bullet here, perfect for those who love exploring and taking the scenic routes in life. A great choice for outdoor enthusiasts and nature lovers alike. And then for bullet two, whether you're hiking through mountains or driving down country roads, this fun and inspired design will remind you to enjoy the journey. Not bad, huh? Then outdoor adventure mountains and trees graphic. You can see, and so the adventure begins. It's got like the mountains, it's got the trees. It does a really good job. This is a beta on the Vision AI side for Amazon Merch, but it does a really good job you can always go through and optimize these further. It'll get you 80, 90% of the way done. But overall, it does a great job. Camp hair, don't care, fun camping. And of course, Amazon Merch is gonna pen to the end, like t-shirt, sweatshirt, hoodie, whatever the product is. So you don't. that's why we intentionally leave those out. Um, adventure, outdoors, camp more, worry less. Vintage camper with heart design, see that? Uh, camping adventures, graphic outdoor enthusiast. Camping is my favorite therapy. You can see just from the design, we are able to write entire listings for Amazon Merch. Now again, you could optimize this further. I'm gonna keep it simple and just leave it as is. Now I'm gonna add a brand real quick. So I'm gonna go to all actions, edit in bulk. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want the brand to include all these designs in it. That way if someone on Amazon searching and finds a uh, product of yours, 
They click the brand, they'll see more camping related designs under that same brand on Amazon Merch. So under Filled, I'm gonna choose Brand. There's different actions, we'll keep it simple, overwrite. And I'm gonna go, let's say LVN Camping Co. Just keep it simple, right? That way it adds that brand to all these listings. I'm gonna to apply to selected listings. And now that's done. You can see we got our brand. Now for description, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use our variable feature and just add feature bullet one and bullet two to the description. So let's go edit in bulk, choose the uh, description, overwrite. And the variables are really cool. You can click add variable here, adds the variable in and I can change it to value and then choose a field. So I want feature bullet one. And let's click back in here and then add another variable and change that to feature bullet two. And you get a, you get a preview here. You could always add data like this and then, you know, and append it a certain way, but I'm just going to leave it like that because it actually looks good. So it has feature bullet one and feature bullet two in the brand. So we're good. So now let me go down and just apply. Again, you could use Vision AI to write your descriptions too. It does a great job of that. But I do want to, I did want to show you a few other features here in my designs. But just like that, our listing data is ready. So one thing I want to do is now we're going to move over to Merch Titans Automation and prepare that. But first, this is a dark design. It seems like light color designs do better on Amazon Merch, meaning the, the clothing is going to be a darker color. So I am going to quickly create another variation of this. Go edit, color overlay. Uh, the input file slot is going to be that front file. I could save the other one in back. Maybe I'll do that just to demonstrate, but I'm going to change this to white. Now keep in mind, I'm going to generate a preview real quick. Keep in mind the color overlay isn't going to work on designs that have complex elements and graphics. But for these particular designs, they're all one color. So this works great, right? You can see here, now I can get a white version of this. I'm just going to go ahead and save that to this back file slot and give that a second to process. Shouldn't take too long. And there you go. So let me double click on that file slot to make it active and I'll change this to grid view. So you can very quickly see we now have the white version and the dark version. So whatever one of these we want to use, we can do that through Merch Titans when we're doing the uploading process. It's really cool. But one more thing, I think I'm going to take this white one here and actually apply a, a filter to, or a distressed or a grunge effect to it. So go all actions, image effects. I'm going to change that to the back, the, the white colored one, and the output will be the same. That way we override it. We do have a couple different effects here. I kind of like this grunge four effect. You can generate a preview again and just see what it looks like before you apply it to all these. But these type of grunge effects, especially with camping and stuff, is going to look good. So I think that looks good. Let's go ahead and save and overwrite the original in this slot. So that'll process real quick. And then we can move over to um, Merch Titans Automation. All right, so you can see that looks great. Now, if I want to pull this up into a full view, get a better view of it, you can see that we got that grunge effect applied. Did it in bulk, did it very quickly. Now, if you're on a pro plan, you can do that for up to 48 listings at a time. Pro Plus can do it all the way up to 120 listings at a time. All right, so let's move on. Let's uh, minimize this. I got Merch Titans Automation. If you don't have this, there's a link in the description. This is an, a really powerful app. Integrates perfectly with my designs. That way you don't have to set up Excel spreadsheets and link your file paths and do all that. It's just so much more intuitive using my designs and all our advanced features there. Generate listing data, optimize your, your design files. And then of course, just connect it to Merch Titans and then let the uploading process begin there. So over here, I turned off Printful, Redbubble, Spreadshirt, and TeePublic. I'm only focusing on Amazon Merch here, so I have that enabled. So let's go to the settings to cover this real quick. I highly recommend you use publishing settings on Amazon Merch. It's way faster than using the traditional route. So always under Use Publish Settings, just click Yes. That's the thing there. Saving login is great, but that way if you do this multiple times throughout the day, you don't have to log in every time. And then Save or Submit, you can choose to save as a draft or publish. I'm going to go Publish. You can auto translate it yes on Amazon if you're publishing to like the German marketplace, Japan, etc. Then Amazon will just auto translate that listing data for you. Now color settings. This is if you're doing the pop sockets, phone cases, tote bags, throw pillows, etc. You can adjust the colors there. And design scaling settings. This is how you can design. You can choose the how much you want to scale the design up or down if it's on any of these products. So I'm just going to leave everything default, and you can too. Again, my base designs are 4,500 by 5,400 pixels, which is perfect for Amazon merch. Now what I need to do next is go to upload and under my designs, you click that, you're going you're going to need a token for my design. So I'm gonna go back and then under settings in the top right, you'll see this gear icon, click that. Go over to auth tokens. And then up here, I'm just gonna say merch titans. I'll do test, click generate token. Now keep this token private. I'm obviously gonna blur it out in the video, but click it to copy it. You see it's copied to clipboard. Now let's go back to Amazon or Merch Titans Automation. I'm going to control A in here to select everything. 
and control V to paste the new token, then just click OK. And now that's connected to my My Designs account. I can see all my different folders slash collections right here. So if I scroll to the bottom, the one we just created under Merch Titans Automation, the demo video account, you can see that I've got 20 uh, listings in there. Now I could choose the file slot. And if you remember the white design where we applied that grunge effect, we, we put it in the back file slot. So I'm gonna choose that, click select. And again, this is an important notice. It's like, please ensure that you correctly map the des My Designs fields to the corresponding fields of the platform you are uploading to. So in our case, Amazon Merch, this can be done within the advanced settings section under each platform settings. So click OK. You can preview your data here. You can see our bullets, our titles, everything for, the, for these listings. So click back. Let's go click on Amazon Merch and go down to the advanced section or advanced settings like it's stated in that pop-up. So we got the title and what looks like we already got the description and we got the brand. So these are already all mapped, right? But if they are not, you can click down on it and any field inside my designs, inside that template of yours you set up in that collection, you can, you can map it. So just make sure that they're all mapped to the proper fields here. So that is good to go. So we can literally upload this, but real quick, I'm gonna go back to Amazon Merch. I always like to do a test run. So I'm gonna delete this one. Whoop. And uh, let's grab this camping design. We'll just grab, whoop, I don't have the light version here, but I would download one of those light versions Go through the template here, edit it, and make sure all the colors are selected right. So you can see here, these are all set for the darker designs. So these light designs, these white designs are gonna work great on here. So I don't need to change anything, but you basically set up your Amazon Merch publishing settings, pricing, colors, the uh, the fit type, etc., And of course the marketplaces too. If I select this, I'm doing .com and .co.uk. So that I think this is good for this demo. I already have this set up ahead of time. But if you wanna make any changes to this, you'll make those changes. You'll come down to the bottom, click this save publish settings and save it. And you'll know that you have published settings enabled when you come up here and it says custom settings. You can always delete them and redo them or just make changes to it and then save it again. But that's really important when you're using Amazon, uh, using Amazon Merch with Merch Titans automation. It'll make it a very, very fast process. All right, so we are ready to go. I'm gonna go back home, back to listings. We can minimize this. Again, we already connected my designs to Merch Titans. We already have the fields map. So I'm good to go. I can click click start here. It'll show me all 20 of these listings. All you gotta do is click start upload and it's going to pull up Amazon Merch. See, I'm already logged in in this case. So we'll give it a minute and it'll go over to the create page and start uploading your designs for you. So I'm not touching anything. My mouse is here, it's uploading that first design and you'll get a preview of this. See, it has that grunge effect. It's already inputting the title, the brand, feature bullet one, two, and the description. And now it's essentially done. We, we told it to save as published listing. So let me scroll to the top. I was gonna show you that, but it's already done. <laughs> um, we'll give that a second. So essentially that's how this works. Very smooth integration. I could actually minimize this Chrome browser and just let it run while I'm working and maybe creating new designs, doing research, whatever it may be, and just let it run. But uh, it's a very intuitive process. It's gonna, especially if you're doing hundreds, if not thousands of designs that are going up to Amazon Merch or even Redbubble and the other platforms we support. Upload them to My Designs, take advantage of these two integrations and literally streamline your entire process from generating data, optimizing the design files, and of course, automating the uploading process. So you can see this just work in the background here. It's really, really cool. I know a lot of you have been asking for this video and I've been meaning to get around to it. And now that Amazon or Merch Titans Automation has been upgraded to version three and it's polished, everything's working really well. We have the price set right now at $19.99 a month for Merch Titans Automation. And you can find it over at merchtitans.com. But we are gonna increase that price to $30 a month within the next 30 to 60 days. At least that's the plan as of now, that could change, but we're likely gonna increase the price now that things are stable and polished and everything's working really well. But I did wanna mention that, so if you want to take advantage of these two these two powerful pieces of software, this is the way to do it. I just showed you a quick video, quick demonstration of how it works. It's not hard at all. Um, you can really streamline your entire print-on-demand business with this. So that one should submit here, and when it does, let's go back. You can see we already have one published. You can always check the status, by the way, here in M or Merch Titans Automation. If I go home, got this upload status, you'll see the this demo video that's it's taking that spreadsheet from my design. So manage uploads. And you can see the products that you have um, uploaded here. So the second one just finished. Now we're working on the third design. But again, I can minimize this. I can minimize Chromium and just start working. 
and let that run in the background. Some people they're doing thousands of uploads a day, which there's a lot of our clients that do that. That's what they do. They get the uploading process started. They make sure everything's set up right. Then they minimize things and continue to work. And that's a really powerful feature there, a really powerful combo to complement your workflow, especially around print on demand with Amazon Merch. And it's all powered by my designs with that Merch Titans automation integration. But you can see this one should be submitting soon. But that's it. That's it for the video. Very easy. Not hard at all to do. If you have questions, you can let me know or let the My Designs uh, support team know if you have issues with My Designs. If it's Merch Titans related, there's a different support team for that. But that's the video that a lot of you have been asking for. Hopefully that's useful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Or if you'd like to see other videos for like Redbubble, Spreadshirt, Public, and of course Printful that we have also available inside Merch Titans Automation. But that's it for this video. Have a great day. Talk soon.